Welcome to Burlington, Vermont. We are standing on Church Street, Burlington's pedestrian mall, which has been here since the 80s and continues to thrive. This is the heart of Burlington, a city that is a walkable city above all, and where even more walking and biking is in the very near future. A couple of things that kind of make it all come together. One is that there are a lot of really good local shops along Church Street, not just ones for tourists, but also ones for people who live right here. There's parades and festivals and all kinds of things that happen to everything from Jazz Fest to the Dragon Parade. The new transit center is half a block down this way. Um, this right here is a downtown mall that is slated to be redeveloped soon into a mixed-use development. Another thing that's moving is a whole lot of effort at rethinking and redesigning streets. The city has something called the Great Streets Initiative that it's about to launch that will methodically redesign streets from Church Street outward. Uh, over the next few years to be much more walkable, bikeable, with streetscape that makes you want to leave your car behind, where the last thing you're thinking about is driving, you want to be out on that street. Part of it is physical design, that you've got the brick pavers continuous and the asphalt is what stops. When you cross any of the streets that go across Church Street, people walking have right away and it's developed into a culture where if you're on Church Street, you really don't need to think too much about watching out for traffic because this is your space. 30 years ago, Burlington built the Lakeshore Bike Path and we've done a few things here and there since then, but really no major transformative projects for biking. Even in the face of infrastructure that really hasn't improved for decades in any significant way, we saw our bike mode share go from 1% around 2000 to push in 7% in 2015. So what that tells me is that if we actually made our streets really safe and welcoming for biking, we could see 20% bike mode share here in Burlington in the reasonably near future. 